You're watching Sacon Talks with Sacon Simbla. celebrate y'all. Hi, I'm Seikon. You're watching Seikon Talks. And I am a small YouTuber celebrating the fact that I reached my 500 followers. I meant to do a 500 follower video celebration. I passed 500. Now I'm actually at, this is small YouTuber celebrations, y'all. Y'all big YouTubers, don't laugh at me. I am currently at 578 subscribers. Woo, woo, woo. Y'all see that? Yay. Okay, so I meant to put this out when I reach my 500. Sue me. Don't sue me. <laughs> so this is gonna be part celebration and part mini um, rant on a topic that's very fascinating to me. Okay, so um, many of you know, many of you don't know, it's just probably your first time finding my video. My name is Seikon Simbla and my channel's called Seikon Talks. I'm an actress, a singer, an angry neighbor, <laughs> um, a performer, a speaker, and a voiceover artist. I do, I do a lot of voiceovers as well, you guys. And I am a person, a human who loves YouTube. Yes, I love YouTube. I love YouTube. So brief little story, how I got started. I, as a theater actress and as a singer and a person who enjoys like you know glamour i would do a little bit of modeling here and there like commercial modeling i'm not tall at all i've always had this interest and attraction to real people and how real people do their thing like you know being around really polished actors all the time it's like you you sort of start to get this i don't know you just start to appreciate just really natural everyday people also because i was a standby a lot a lot yes i was a standby in many broadway shows a standby is basically a glorified word for understudy it's a person who you stand by and you wait when the lead goes out, you're there, okay? I stood by for Fantasia. I stood by for Michelle Williams of Destiny's Child. I stood by for Deborah Cox. I, I was a standby, you guys. Um, Shoshana Bean, I was a standby. So I spent a lot of time by myself, which found me ever so graciously in the world of online media, the world of YouTube, the world of blogs and all of that. And so I always had a lot of spare time on my hands. So from the beginning, I was just hooked from Chocolate Rain. Does anybody remember Chocolate Rain? From the Chocolate Rain brother on, I was always into YouTube. I have my favorite YouTubers. Shout out to For It's Rocks. She's one of my all-time favorites. Um, I watch the gossip YouTubers, the feminine YouTubers. I watch it all, okay? The hardcore men YouTubers. Like, I watch, okay? You guys, like... Growing up, I, I always loved shock jocks. I used to watch Howard Stern, uh, even Wendy Williams. She was a shock jock at one point. She still shocks us from time to time. Uh, I just, I always enjoyed talk. I enjoyed talk shows like Johnny Carson. He's not a shock jock, but I just always enjoyed talk. So that's number one, let's just say, that's how I got into being into YouTube. And so I started my YouTube channel because I'm a performer and oftentimes people want to see clips of you performing or you have to do audition videos and you have to upload your stuff. Some people upload their stuff to Vimeo, some people upload their stuff to YouTube or whatever other you know environments you might be on you know, casting things and, you know, all kinds of sites that you have to upload your materials on. People also use YouTube to embed videos into their websites. So I've always had a YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel is hella old, you guys. Okay, my YouTube channel, I think it, like this channel was established in 2012. My previous YouTube channel, which you can subscribe to as well, maybe I'll use it as a backup. Um, <laughs> that channel, I was doing, putting my music videos on it back when I was focused on trying to really be, do a pop star, be a pop star thing. I'm Southern pin up, Southern pin up. Could we be possible? Could we be possible? After that dance break, did I get lipstick on my teeth? Okay. I mean, I wanted to give y'all a good red lip today y'all i'll put the i guess i'll put the lipstick in the i'll put them in the bottom bar i think this is a chanel like a little chanel compact that i have let me give it to you can i give it to y'all for a second mm. 
Mm, that was a give it to you break. I had a whole other channel back when I was trying to be a pop star, thought I was gonna be Janet Jackson. Who knew that I was gonna be on Broadway? Who knew I was gonna be on Broadway as long as I have been? Who knew? But I've been on YouTube for a long time, but I never worked to push my channels because I was always really multitasking. You know, I put out calendars, I put out EPs, I was trying to produce concerts, I was doing all this stuff, right? And I found that I was really bogged down with it and I just needed help. I've learned, I have to do a whole nother video on how like reps work and like reps don't work in everything. Just cause you have a manager doesn't mean you have a music manager and had a lawyer who had a drug problem. I mean, all kinds of stuff, right? So I made a decision to put the music thing to the side and focus on my acting. And when I did that, I found myself um, back in the world of lots of spare time and watching more YouTube, which brings me to now, so Saycon Talk started off as a blog. You guys remember Blogger and Blogspot and all that stuff? I had a blog, okay? It was monetized. I was using it with my other channel, which was monetized back when you didn't have those rules where you had to have a thousand this and four thousand that to get monetized, all that. If you guys don't know small YouTubers, if you don't know the rules, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. I don't have any of that right now, okay? I'm just doing small celebrations because you gotta celebrate, okay? I had my channel before. I was like trying to do the YouTube thing before. And then I just took my focus off of it. I was working on my blog, Saycon Talks. This is before social media, you guys, before social media blew like it did. You know, they had some of those old sites, but this is before Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, before everything blew like, I mean, it was blown now, right? A little birdie told me that if you write little articles about your life every day, that you'll come up higher in the Google search, like the SEO, whatever. So that's why I started a blog. I was like, Saycon Talks, I'm just gonna talk about my life. Saycon Talks about her life. Saycon Talks about her career. Saycon Talks, just so narcissistic. Saycon Talks, Saycon Talks, Saycon Talks. Even when I say it, sometimes I'm like, should I change the name? Maybe I might change the name one day, but okay. So I had my channel, I was trying to do my thing. And then, I don't know, I just, I made a change. I decided not to focus on the music as much anymore. When I decided not to focus on the music, I don't know, there was just a change. I said, let me see what happens if I give my all as an actress. So I started to give my all as an actress, okay? You will see many story times about me giving my all as an actress, not like that. And so I slowed up on the whole YouTube thing, but I always can continue to consume it as a consumer. I watch all the controversial, the star report, Shira and Michaela, I watch all, look, I am a YouTube, I love YouTube, okay? Lovely T, my health guru YouTubers, Kareem, Herbalist Kareem, financial YouTubers like Erica Williams, and we cannot forget my secret crush, Roberto Blake, okay? Roberto Blake gives pointers on how to make your YouTube better, and then he talks about how to run your business, and he's in this cool studio, and he has all the best equipment. Okay, let me stop talking about Roberto. So I'm going, this is a story about how I I reached 500 plus on my YouTube account. So this little account, the little engine that could, for six years, it had like 100 followers on it, right? Maybe 200 followers or something like that. For like six years, I never paid attention. It would be like one follower every other month or something, I don't know, right? And sometimes if I posted something, um, let me make sure I'm, it's, it's the movie part. The movie actress in me is used to getting touch-ups like every two seconds. Okay, so for years I was at like 200. And then about three months ago, I decided that I needed to activate my YouTube channel to go along with my podcast. Yes, I have a podcast, Saycon Talks Podcast. It's mostly different material than is on this YouTube. Even though I do have a playlist down below that you can click with select episodes of the podcast on there. This YouTube stuff is a whole nother thing. The podcast is a whole nother thing. Every once in a while, they cross-pollinate. But so I wanted to have a YouTube channel to go along with my podcast. So I decided to start pumping it up. You guys, I did a test one night. That test video is still on here. I did a test one night and I was like, oh God, I'm going to start going live. I'm going to start going live. And every time I wanted to go live, it was like midnight or 11 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night. It was late night every time I wanted to go live. And so I never went live because I was like, it's too late to go live. You need to go while people are up. You need to do that. This is where I'm gonna give my one little pointer that 
I feel that people should use something that, that doesn't stop them. And this is what I'll say. When I decided to start going live on my channel, I was going live at like midnight. Now, I would not ordinarily recommend that you go live, you know, at midnight or go live late at night. But if you're not gonna go live at all and you have to make a decision between going live or not, just go when the spirit hits you. So this is not something that you keep doing. You have to have a schedule. You have to, like now I got Friday night lives, y'all. I got my Friday nights. Now I do pop on when the spirit hits me sometimes. The spirit hits me from time to time. But go live when the spirit hits you. That's, that's one pointer. The next pointer is share it on your other social media. Now other social media may not be friendly to the link. When I look at my analytics, I see that about 15% of my people who watch my videos come from another social media platform. So I do it. I share it, honey. I share this thing. I share this thing in my stories. And you know, just don't be afraid to start. You know, I get yourself a logo, take yourself a selfie, a picture, or get a picture, use your headshot, whatever, and just get started. So that's the, those are the two things that I would say that helped me to reach this point. I got a lot of momentum. So in the last three months, my I have reached my 500 mark in like three months. And I'm just very proud of myself. And I wanna celebrate that today with you guys having a cup of tea with you guys. I'm always having tea. I just wanted to celebrate my 500 subscribers and tell you a little bit about me and a little bit about how I ended up on YouTube. Hi guys. So I got so excited telling my my YouTube story and being excited about my 500 plus followers that I forgot to add in these pointers. Okay, if you have an old channel and you're trying to remix it, remix it, right? So hide old videos that don't fit with the new vibe make new thumbnails on your most popular old videos you know freshen it up with a thumbnail and commit to making 100 crappy videos you know learn on the job don't be afraid to make mistakes and do what you like you know don't just try to stay relevant because you can't keep that up talk about what you want to talk about and your audience will come <laughs>